but it was a very brutal conflict and many people died on both sides. It lasted basically one month from February 17th to March 16th, 1979. It resulted in China's invasion of Vietnam. But the war also had a lasting impact upon both countries and their relationship, even the relationship as you may see it today. Hi, this is Anita from the Dusty Roads podcast. If you've been listening to my podcast, you know what one thing that I enjoy is history. I feel like through history, we can understand things that are happening in our world today. And one of these is talking about the war between China and Vietnam. Now, a lot of people may not even realize that one of the most major and significant conflicts between China and Vietnam happened in 1979. It is known as the Sino-Vietnamese War. What happened in this is this conflict was actually a very short conflict, but it acts, but it was a very brutal conflict and many people died on both sides. It lasted basically one month from February 17th to March 16th, 1979. It resulted in China's invasion of Vietnam. But the war also had a lasting impact upon both countries and their relationship, even the relationship as you may see it today. One of the reasons was is that Vietnam at the time had just won the war with America, which we know as the Vietnam War, or which they in Vietnam called the American War. And so Vietnam was sort of starting to brag about, we beat the powerful Americans. We have one of the most powerful militaries that there is. We are able to beat the Americans. So we're, we're so powerful. You, know, you better watch out for us. And China, of course, started becoming uh, very nervous. They, um, we're thinking like, we don't want to have this powerful military power at our neighbor, our southern neighbor. We're worried about that. And then China was also worried because the Vietnamese communist government now was starting to fight in Cambodia, where China was backing the Khmer Rouge and Vietnam was fighting against the Khmer Rouge. So there was a little bit of tension going on there because of Cambodia. China was also very concerned at the time of the strong Soviet influence in Vietnam and fear that Vietnam would become a type of proletariat or would become a type of satellite state of the Soviet Union. So all of this sort of escalated. So China wanted to show its strength to Vietnam. And you have to remember too, if you look back in history, you'd have to remember that Vietnam was ruled by China for over 1,000 years. So for many years, in fact, a thousand years, China controlled Vietnam. So the China felt like their interests in Southeast Asia were being threatened by this new power among the Vietnamese people. So China decided that it would invade Vietnam. So over 200,000 Chinese soldiers invaded Vietnam. So it wasn't really that difficult in a lot of ways for China to overpower the military there. They were able to, to you know, send in 200,000 soldiers. They um, were able to basically invade and to control part of North Vietnam. It's estimated that China lost about 20,000 troops, while Vietnam suffered more than uh, 33,000 casualties. So basically, you know, this was a war that happened within one month. Over 53,000 lives were lost in just one month's time because of this conflict. So Vietnam and China were having this, you know, issue going on at the border. And eventually China had to withdraw from Vietnam after it failed to gain political strategic gains from the conflict. You know, despite the fact that they, um, you know, withdrew, it still had a lasting impact on both China and Vietnam. Here are some of the things that, I, that I've seen as a lasting impact between them. You know, both sides of the war suffered greatly. So there's casualties on both sides. So it was a huge amount of um, casualties that happened within the one month. The conflict deepened the animosity between China and Vietnam. Even today, from time to time, you may see some anti-Chinese sentiment in Vietnam. You know, I've every once in a while I've heard a few, you know, uh, Vietnamese people say, oh, I hate China. And, you know, a lot of it may be because of this war that happened in 1979, especially if they're from the north or from the border. They may, may have reasons to that they don't like China because of what happened up there. We have to also remember that Vietnam was under China control for 1,000 years. I have personally seen some anti-Chinese demonstrations, you know, in Vietnam's um, capital, Hanoi. And I've also um, heard about, known about demonstrations outside some Chinese factories in the South. 
So there is sort of a bit of an animosity that can still be felt a bit today between Vietnam and China. We find it sometimes as we send things across the border and the border between China and Vietnam seems to open, close, open, close. You know, sometimes it can be closed for a month at a time. Sometimes it can be closed, you know, for um, longer periods of time. It just really depends. It really goes back and forth all the time. That's, you know, one of maybe the leftovers from this. The two don't quite trust each other. Sometimes the China side's open, the Vietnam side is not. The Vietnam side's open, the China side's not. So even today, in a lot of the border with the trade between the two countries, they're sometimes opening and closing the border uh, for for political reasons, maybe for not um, for no other type of reason at all, you know, the border gets closed. You know, you might find that um, in Vietnam, some Vietnamese are extremely anti-China. So, you know, a lot of this has to do with this Sino-Vietnam conflict. Vietnam was forced to introduce at this time a period of economic austerity as it needed to rebuild its infrastructure and resources that had been destroyed during the conflict. So this actually, you know, pushed Vietnam into, you know, Vietnam, you have to remember, was just coming off of the long war between the, they had the, the North in particular, had the war with the French, they had the war with the Americans. And now, you know, they, you know, for a few years, they had no war. Now suddenly they have a war with China. And it really, you know, drove a lot of them into, you know, bigger poverty and isolation they ever had before. There was famine, there was hardship. And there were a lot of um, economic problems within Vietnam itself because of this conflict with China. But the war did increase the military spending on both sides. So both China and Vietnam began to increase their uh, military spending, but this negatively began to affect their economies. So, you know, added upon this, their economies were suffering, people were in poverty, people were hungry, they were starving. But at the same time, they both were upping their military in order to protect their borders. You know, even today you see some border disputes. So you see some problems with the borders where, you know, China goes into the South China Sea and then there's, you know, little, you know, tit for tat border disputes are still going on. Because of this, you know, Vietnam began to increase um, and look for other partners besides China in Southeast Asia, in particular countries like Japan and Korea. They began to look for other places that they could look for support. You know, when Vietnam was still closed, they looked to the Soviet Union. And so, you know, even uh, today you can see where there's some parts of Vietnam where there had been some Soviet uh, bases that were one time there. And even Cuba was one of the partners that you've seen that they were um, – you know, you could see that there were places that really they love Fidel Castro and some others like that, because those were the Vietnamese partners that they had for a long time. And so because of that, the um, Southeast Asian seas continue to be a hotbed for conflicts between Vietnam and China and some of the other neighbors. So you can see that this is kind of an um, interesting story to understand, because despite the fact that this happened in 1979, you can see where still today there can be some animosity towards China because of this conflict that happened so many years ago. Yes, there's many Chinese factories that are, you know, setting up production within Vietnam itself. But yet, also at the same time, there are many Vietnamese who are maybe a little bit unsure. And you can still see today with the border, with um, you know, the border opening and closing and, and other things like that, which could be a leftover from some of this 1979 conflict that happened between Vietnam and China. This is Anita from the Dusty Roads podcast. Thank you so much for listening. We hope that you'll join with us to live your life as a global citizen. We're going to put a link below to our blog, which is When Was the China's War with Vietnam? If you'd like to be able to read more about this war and what took place during this war and why this was a very important uh, war to consider and to understand when you're looking at China and Vietnam relations today. We'd like to thank our team well to put this together, especially Rico. And we'd like to thank you, our listener, for being part of our community. Thank you. Mm-hmm.